Hey girls and guys, how are you guys today? Are you ready to get in the Christmas spirit? We're doing a holiday look and I'm gonna be trying Catrice makeup for the first time. I've never tried Catrice before, but I hear such good things, but I'm also really pissed off. No, I'm kidding, I'm not mad at all. <laughs> but I will say I have none of the stuff that everyone raves about to try. So I'm gonna have to place an order because I know Taylor from The Taylor loves the foundation. I think Tati Westbrook, I just burped off camera. It was insane. <laughs> Tati Westbrook from Glam Life Guru loves the camouflage concealer, I think, and I don't have any of that. What the F? Gonna place an order, gonna try that out soon, but I do have some other things they sent me in a little box of their product, so I thought, let's try it out today. I don't wanna do a holiday look. I'm feeling festive, bitches. The first things I have are these little brow products. We're gonna use these. Um, This is the Catrice Brow Hero. It's a two-in-one brow pomade. Oh, and the camouflage waterproof concealer in this? I gotta use this, dang it. Well, we'll use it to carve my brow. So I have So Bella and So Gigi. Okay, that is the most adorable brow product name I've ever heard of. Does Bella and Gigi know? Is that approved? Oh no, Bella is so dried out. Forgive me, Bella, not you in real life, but it's definitely dried out. It's like shrinking on the edges. I think I wanna use So Gigi anyway because my hair color is a little bit different. I'm not going quite as dark anymore. Oh, it's been so long since I used a brow pomade. I'm terrified. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just just a few thousand fucking things I need. Okay, so Gigi. If I don't look like Gigi by the end of this video, someone's gonna get it. Someone's gonna get it and they ain't gonna like it. Like, honestly, I'm terrified right now. I only use like powder and pencils, so like, help me. Okay, I'm taking this with my Sigma E65 brush. I'm gonna do what I normally do. I start at the bottom, pull it through, drag it through. Oh, my brows are so horrible. <laughs> I'm feeling complainy today, can you tell? I know you shouldn't have a bad attitude, but like some days it feels really good to just complain about everything. I don't know what it is. Since I woke up today, I've just been complaining. Like all morning on Twitter, all I've been doing is complaining. People are probably like, what is going on with her? <laughs> She's so grumpy. By the way, I do have a ton of Catrice goodies to give away to you guys today on Instagram. So as you're watching this, go follow my Instagram and go enter my contest or my giveaway. It's not a contest. I'm giving away a whole goodie bag of Catrice makeup. So, so far, just first impressions. This is a little drier than I was expecting. And I think I like it for that reason. I think why I have so much trouble or I look really obnoxious when I use the Anastasia brow pomade is it's super, it's not wet, but it almost too sleek. Like you can just go woo and like accidentally put on way too much. So I appreciate something that I'm forced to build up so that I don't get too carried away because I do. Just taking my little CoverGirl brow spoolie. That's the one thing I don't like about pomades is they never come with a spoolie and you need one. You just need one. What do you guys think? I think it looks okay. It kind of really slicked down my brow hair and I don't know if I love that or hate that. I'm undecided. Let's try the little camouflage concealer in there and shape her up real good. Oh, oh, that looks nice and thick and pigmented. I love ideas like this when they include concealer with like a brow product for carving, but then it's also kind of like this concealer can't match everyone. So I hope they sell the brow pomades like individually as well and not like in a duo, just so that, you know, if someone doesn't need a particular concealer shade, they're not stuck with like a half pot of concealer that they'll never use. That does look highly pigmented though. Oh my gosh, I need to get the full size of this camouflage concealer. Oh my gosh, I have a feeling I would love this. I like it. I like it a lot. I actually think that I will keep using this. Of course, it'll depend on how it wears. Does it smudge really bad? Oh, it feels completely dry. Huh, I think I like it. Next, let's move on to the eyes. I have this cute little eyeshadow palette. This is the Catrice Professional Artist Eyeshadow. They're small pans, but I honestly kind of like that because sometimes you really don't need those huge pans, do you? And because they're smaller, I feel like they can fit more in here into a convenient, like smaller sized palette. It's not super huge. If it's decent, you could travel with it. All right, Catrice, let's see what you got. I first want to go into this creamy shade up here. I believe this is a matte. By the way, if you like this little hairpin, it is from Forever 21. Basically, if you ever have questions about where my accessories or anything are from, it's always either from Express or from Forever 21. I'm a cheapskate. I do not spend a lot on anything other than makeup, really. I don't buy designer things, nothing like that. I mean, I appreciate their beauty. And when I see things like on social media with girls with like really nice bags or shoes or anything like that, I'm like, oh, I would love to have that. But I can't bring myself to do it. I just can't. The next closest thing to a transition color might be this cool tone brown here. The palette is very cool tone, so you guys would really love that if you're a cool tone lover. Still blending with my Sigma E40 brush. I'm gonna pop that into the crease. Oh, it's blending really nicely. Decent amount of pigment right off the bat. That's really, really nice. I'm actually really impressed with how that's performing so far. All right, moving on into this deeper brown with my E25 brush from Sigma. 
That looks pigmented. Getting excited. And work her into our crease. A little on that outer corner. Just sweep it on by. Oh, wow. Catrice, where have you been all my life? I've been sleeping on them. I'm bringing it all the way to the inner corner. It's a little streaky. I see a few little streaks, but I mean, honestly, I've tried higher end brands that streak worse and get a little patchy. I think this is not bad for the price. It's pigmented. It's just a little tricky to blend out this deeper color. Okay, so I will say, though slightly tricky to blend and got a little streaky, this pigmentation for a drugstore brand, I think you can actually buy Catrice at Ulta Beauty on the drugstore side, not on the high-end side. So you can use coupons and things like that. I think the pigmentation is amazing. I love the depth of this brown. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I think it looks really good. I was able to make it work and I was able to blend just by layering and blending and layering and blending and it did get it to where I wanted it to be. So thumbs up for this palette. So Catrice actually has a ton of beautiful pigments and I'm actually giving away every single one of these pigments today in today's giveaway, which I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna step out of the box for me and I'm gonna do silver. And you guys know I hate silver on the eyes. For me personally, I don't like it on my eyes. For you, it might be amazing. So don't take offense to that but this is the Catrice Precious Pigments Loose Eyeshadow in the shade Out of Grays. I was kind of getting a feel for these last night. I was just playing around with them a bit before I did this video and I was shocked at how high the impact is of pigment for being so finely milled and so powdery. It's not really thick by any means. It's extremely soft. In fact when you touch it you can't even tell you have any product on your hand. It's that soft but bam. It is so intense, like look at that, are you serious? They also have like nice pinky shades, they have a purple, they have a rose gold, ooh goodness. They have coppers, they have a more of a vanilla nude shade, so a lot of pretty colors. I'm gonna take this little brush here that comes in the Sigma Beauty and Beauty Bird collaboration palette. I'm gonna spritz my brush with some setting spray. I just used the Smashbox primer water and I'm scared y'all, I'm scared. What if I love silver today? Wouldn't that be crazy if that happened? Oh my gosh, it looks like liquid metal. Oh my goodness, popping that all over the lid there. Of course there is fallout because it is a loose shadow, but because it's so finely milled, it should sweep away very easily. That is insane. That is so pigmented. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, okay, why don't I hate this? I'm a little shocked. Did I just change my mind on silver eyeshadow? I don't know yet, we gotta finish the look, but oh my gosh, it's like so aluminum, it's amazing. I'm now gonna take some of my Sigma Beauty Wicked Gel Liner on a brush. You know what, over this pigment, like dragging a brush of gel liner over it is kind of making it flick off and I don't wanna do that. Now I'm switching to my L'Oreal liquid liner. Okay, so that liquid liner got really far away from me. I did not wanna go so intensely, but it is what it is now. I'm gonna jump back into the Catrice palette. And with my E20 smudger brush, we're gonna go back into that brown. And I just wanna blow out the lower lash line with this. Goodness, it's pigmented. I picked up much too much. Just really smoke that area up down there. So I don't have any new mascara or lashes. I'm gonna throw those on and I'll be back to show the rest of the face. Lashes are on. Today I'm wearing a bold face makeup lashes in the style. Okay, normally it has a sticker to tell you which style, but it doesn't on this one. But on the side flaps, I noticed it says wink. So I'm hoping this lash style is wink. I do want to point out one thing I noticed is that when I went to apply my lashes, I had saw that the pigment ha was transferring like up high onto my lid and I hate that. And I was like, oh, it's ruining my crease. So I ended up taking the shadow even higher, which also I don't love, but then it prevents that like transfer and that mark of shadow across your lid on your transition, on your crease, it prevents it. So that's something I need to remind myself to do more because I hate when my shadow transfers. All in all though, I love this pigment and I actually like how it looks and I'm shocked because as I said a thousand times now, I hate silver eyeshadow. This I don't hate, it's the weirdest thing. So for highlighter, I'm gonna take the Catrice Galactic Highlighter. This is in the shade Space Shuttle. And when I was playing around with this last night, I think it had a bit of like a pinky hue. I'm just gonna take some with my finger. Just pop that on, oh, whoa. And of course I am doing this on top of powder, which I hate doing, but with liquid highlighters, it's almost just kind of how it has to be unless you wanna put it, you know, underneath your powder, but then it kind of dilutes the glow of it. So I don't know how I feel in this very moment, but it does have a nice little glow. And it actually, even though it's going on top of my powder, it seems to be blending in pretty seamlessly. That's cute, I really like it. This one I'm having a harder time blending in on top of my powder, dang it. Some on the nose. 
I've heard such amazing things about these highlighters. I want to pick up some other shades. I'm going to Ulta Beauty this weekend, so I'll definitely be picking more up. I need to get that foundation ASAP. I need to get that concealer. Honestly, I probably should have waited to do this video, but I just couldn't wait. All right, I won't lie. I really kind of screwed up this side of the face. I got too carried away by trying to blend it in. This one's okay. This one's insane. This side though that turned out okay, I think is really, really pretty. It's got like a cute pink yellow glow. This next thing I am so excited to try. I've heard really good things about it. It is the Catrice Illuminating Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. It's supposed to give you a dewy glow. I don't know if you can see all the pink swirling around in here. So there must be some illuminator in it. Let me see, how does it spray? Oh, okay. Well, it kind of like smells like roses. It smells really, really nice. I'm excited to see as it dries down if it gives us much of a glow. So as we wait for that to dry down, I want to do a red lip, but I don't have a red lip from Catrice. So I'm going to use a Catrice lip first, and then I'm going to just use what I wanted to go with this look. So this is the Catrice Pure Pigment Lip Lacquer in the shade Salted Caramel. It looks really pretty, and I'm giving a ton of these away in today's giveaway as well. Oh. Obviously, it's really not for this eye makeup look, but it's a pretty color. It's not sticky at all, which is insane. It is so smooth, I can't even feel it. Obviously, the shine's not gonna go away, and there's no way this is transfer proof. But there's, It's definitely going to transfer, but I think it's pretty if you want one of those ultra glossy, shiny lips. Again, this was the shade Salted Caramel. I think it's really cute. They have a lot of fun colors. Like, look at all these. A lot to play with. Look at that purple. That is gorgeous. You have some hot pinks, another pink, and a deep, deep, deep berry purple. I'm giving these away as well in today's Instagram post, so go enter that giveaway as you're watching this. I can't stress it enough. Okay, so now for lips, I'm going to use Persona Cosmetics Holy Grail Liquid Matte Lip. I love this red. It is such a good red. I will link it down below for you guys. I just think silver, I need red. You know what I mean? Did we need a red lip or did we need a red lip? We needed a red lip. Okay. That is it for this look, you guys. All in all, I know I only tried eye products and a lip color from Catrice, but I did really like everything I tried. Like I said, this weekend I'm going to go to Ulta and I'm going to pick up everything else everyone raves about. The foundation, the concealer, and maybe I'll have a new foundation routine, which I'm so excited for. I've been using the same old things for so long. Right now I'm wearing the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. It's just always a go-to. I normally wear my Too Faced uh, Born This Way Foundation. I'm taking a little break from that, so I'm excited to pick up a new one. As always, thank you guys so much for watching today's Seamus video. I will link everything I used down below. Don't forget I have a new video up every single day from December 1st to December 25th. And I have giveaways going up every single day from December 1st to December 25th. Today's giveaway I believe is on Instagram. Let me show you what I'm giving away. This entire goodie bag filled with Catrice makeup. I have all of those beautiful lip colors I showed you. I have a setting spray and I have every shade of the eye pigments. This is a nice little gift. I'm excited to give it to you guys. It'll come just like this in this cute little bag. And of course, in all my giveaways, I do include a really cute little thank you note, a little thank you card. So go enter. I want you guys to win so, so bad. It's on my Instagram, thatgirlshayxo, just like my channel. Just follow the steps and enter. I mail all my giveaway prizes every Saturday. Thank you to everyone who's been participating in all the giveaways. I see you. I love you. Thank you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!